We always wish the best for our children, and we hope they make the best choice they can when it comes to choosing a partner to spend the rest of their lives with. Jane's parents wished the same for their youngest daughter. However, they weren't very supportive when Jane announced she was about to marry someone who wasn't exactly their cup of tea. Jane was always full of surprises, and one of those surprises was the man she chose to marry. Much to her parents' dismay, it was a homeless man. Her parents extremely disapproved of her choice, leaving her all alone, with only her partner by her side, only to realize later they had made the biggest mistake of their lives. Here is how the story unfolded. It was another calm and quiet afternoon when Jane's mother received an envelope through the letterbox. She realized it was a wedding invitation. However, she didn't know who it was, as there was no one she knew who was about to get married in the near future. When she discovered the names on the wedding invitation, she couldn't believe her eyes and dropped the envelope on the floor. She looked again, just to make sure she wasn't hallucinating. She wasn't, and it was there, right in front of her, black on white. This was the day she had been waiting for for so many years. Jane, the youngest daughter in the family, had been living in a different state for some time now. They were always very close, however, being geographically far away had set its price, and in the past few years, they slightly drifted apart. Jane was the youngest daughter, the one who always had a surprise up her sleeve, and this wedding invitation was another one of hers. After getting herself together, Jane's mother picked up the phone to express her happiness about her daughter's big news and assured her they would make it. They wanted to be part of Jane and Tom's big day. Jane's mother planned to arrive a few days before the wedding. She wanted to spend some quality time with her youngest. She wanted to help where she could, and she wanted to bring Jane back into her life. It was not easy for her to be apart for so many years. If only she knew that Jane had a little surprise waiting for her, she might have postponed the trip altogether. She was not prepared for what was about to happen, and at first, it was more than she could take in. Jane was keeping a very big secret from her mother, one that could not be hidden for much longer. The day of the visit arrived, and Jane's parents made their way over to see their daughter, who was about to marry the love of her life. This was the first time Jane's parents met Tom, her fiancé, and they had loads of things they wanted to know about him. Jane and Tom picked up Jane's parents from the airport and made their way to Jane and Tom's home. Jane's mom already felt that something was not right, as there was a lot of tension in the air. Still in the car, Jane's mother asked Tom about his profession and where he grew up. Tom was feeling a little uncomfortable. Tom was finding it difficult to find the right answers, and Jane's mother knew something was going on. She couldn't understand why Tom was finding it difficult to answer basic questions about his life. What was he hiding? Where did he come from? And what else was her daughter hiding from her? Jane's mother was never uncomfortable asking others personal questions, and she just kept on going. She kept going on and on asking questions about his past, about his days in university, his siblings and parents, and wouldn't let go until Tom couldn't take it anymore and decided to reveal the truth. Tom began by saying that when he first met Jane, he was living on the streets. Jane looked at her parents and saw the look on their faces. They couldn't believe what they were hearing. What street? Why was he on the street? Are you saying you were homeless? Tom replied and confirmed what Jane's mom was asking. He added that this was in the past and now they were both very in love and waiting to get married. Before Jane's mother could share what she felt about the big news, the four arrived at Jane's house, which interrupted the conversation. Jane knew that things were not going to stay on the calm side from now on, and that having her parents stay with them was going to be an absolute nightmare. Jane's mother tried to find a moment all alone with Jane, so she could tell her what she thought of her decision. She wanted to be with her alone for a few minutes, but these few minutes were difficult to find. As for Jane, she didn't care where Tom came from, and all that she cared about was where he was now. She loved him 
and was going to marry him no matter what her parents thought. The atmosphere in Jane and Tom's house was very unpleasant. Jane's parents couldn't put their thoughts and feelings aside, and the situation was getting awkward. Jane felt that enough was enough and asked her parents to leave. This was one day before the big day, but the last thing Jane wanted was for her parents to ruin her wedding. Although it was a hard thing to do, Jane couldn't see any other alternative. Jane's father, who wasn't as open about his feelings as his wife, Jane's mother, was deeply hurt and couldn't bear the fact that he was not going to attend his daughter's wedding. Heartbroken, Jane's parents left without looking back. Jane and Tom were living a happy life. They were now a few months after their wedding day. They were living in Jane's house, as Tom's last residence was on the street, and Jane was doing everything she could to help her husband find work. Then, Jane heard her phone ring. It was a text message from her mother, who she hadn't heard from since a day before her wedding. It read, Dear Jane, since you made it so clear to me you didn't want to be a part of our family anymore, we have taken you out of our will. Although this message was very difficult for Jane's mother to send, she did it because she felt that Tom was only after Jane's money. He was much older than her, living on the streets, and had nothing to offer their daughter. They did not support Jane's choices in life and were not going to contribute to it. Jane was shocked by the words she just read. This was her mother, and although she had her loving husband, she felt all alone in the world. Tom tried to comfort her with no success, and no matter how hard he tried, Jane couldn't get herself back together. If only her parents knew the unrevealed truth about Tom. The next few months were very difficult and frustrating for everyone. Tom was heartbroken to see his wife in such misery. Jane was still deeply upset by her parents' decision, and Jane's father was frustrated too, as it turned out he had nothing to do with the message Jane's mother sent. He didn't have an issue with his daughter's decisions. He felt that as long as Jane was happy, he was happy too, and because he wasn't aware of the message his wife sent, he was under the impression Jane was the one who didn't want anything to do with them. Jane's father couldn't live with the fact that he wasn't part of his daughter's life, and he decided he wanted to understand better what was going on in Jane's life. He decided to hire a private detective who could find out where Jane and Tom were living and report back if there was something abnormal going on in their lives. He went to the private detective to find out what Tom was up to. He asked him to see if he was unfaithful to Jane and, as his wife suspected, if he was with Jane only for her money. Jane and Tom were obviously unaware that a private detective was on the watch and lived their life in peace. Some years later, Jane fell pregnant. The detective shared the news with Jane's father, and he felt this was the time to make a change as he wanted to be present in his grandchild's life. Jane's father bought a teddy bear and a bunch of flowers. He wrote a few lines on a card and sent it to his daughter. He felt sending a text message was not personal enough. My darling Jane, please forgive me for whatever I have done to you to push you so far away. Jane's father continued and asked for her forgiveness for whatever it was she felt he did. Jane received the flowers and card and found herself speechless. She did not know what to think or what to do, and most of all, she couldn't understand why he didn't understand why they drifted apart. Wasn't he part of the message her mother sent all those years ago? Initially, she wanted to throw the flowers and letter, but couldn't stop wondering if there was something more that maybe she wasn't aware of. After all, this was her father, and she felt the right thing to do was to at least give him a chance to explain things. For him to come over to her house was out of the question, so they agreed to meet at a cafe. Meeting her father after not seeing him for so many years was very emotional. They both broke into tears, and Jane realized how older her father looked now. They hadn't seen each other for such a long time. She missed him terribly, and only now realized just how much. The first thing Jane asked her father was if he knew about the text messages her mother sent all those years ago. Jane had a feeling her mother wasn't being honest and might have taken that action solely. Jane's father had no idea what she was talking about. He was shocked, just as Jane was. 
However, this was not all. They both realized it was Jane's mother who pushed her aside and was to blame for what had happened to their family. Jane and her father spent the rest of the day catching up on all the last years, trying to figure out how to amend their broken hearts. Jane was sure things were only going to get better now. The little baby boy she was expecting would have a chance to meet his grandfather, and the future looked bright. Unfortunately, Jane's father got a bit of bad news. Things were not going to be bright as Jane thought they were going to be. He was suffering from arthritis, and it was not getting any better. Not being well was one of the reasons Jane's father insisted on finding his daughter. Life was too short, and he felt he was running out of time. Jane was confused. She was over the moon about reconnecting with her father. She was disappointed with the way her mother treated them both, and most of all she was worried about her father's condition, afraid she didn't have too much time left with him. Being heavily pregnant didn't help with her mixed emotions, and she arrived back home muddled and uneased. When Jane walked through the front door, Tom immediately sensed something was wrong. Jane shared with Tom everything that had happened. She explained that her mother was the one responsible for the text message and that her father had nothing to do with it. She shared that her father wasn't very well and that she was terribly worried about him. Tom looked at his wife and his heart broke. She was taking everything so hard and there was a lot he could do to change things and make things better. Tom looked into his wife's eyes and said, We have got to tell them the truth. Jane looked deep into her caring husband's eyes. She felt her mother didn't deserve to know the truth, although sharing their big secret would probably be the only thing to make things better and bring them all back together again. Jane's mother not only damaged the relationship between them, but she also damaged the relationship Jane had with her father. And for that, she could not forgive her. Jane was furious and upset, however, deep inside, she knew her husband was right. The truth eventually will have to be told. The clock was ticking, and her father wasn't well, however. She couldn't see herself talking to her mother ever again. Jane felt that even though she didn't want to hear about her mother, her dear father had the right to know about the big secret they were hiding. If she expected honesty, it was about time she was honest, too. Jane couldn't wait any longer. She had made up her mind and decided she was going to tell her father the truth. She immediately sent her father a message. However, he couldn't understand why she was so anxious to meet again so soon. It was barely 24 hours after they last met, and he was getting worried. Jane lay in her bed, thinking of the first time she introduced Tom to her family and friends. Jane's friends couldn't stop asking themselves, what was she thinking, bringing home a homeless man? Things got even more complicated when they realized she was not just trying to help someone. She was actually in a romantic relationship with him. There was much more to Jane's story than anyone ever expected, and things were going to become very interesting. For now, Jane's friends were making fun of her behind her back, unaware that there was a big secret she was hiding. Jane was about to rock her friend's world upside down, and what was about to happen, no one could see coming. The following day, Jane's father arrived at Jane's house. Jane was so happy to see him, and was relieved that soon she would be sharing her big secret with him. Jane's father wasn't alone. Her mother stood there by him. Jane wasn't sure if her father wanted her to come, or if she, unsurprisingly, insisted on coming. Unwillingly, Jane let them both in. She wasn't happy at all that her mother decided to come along too. However, there was not much she could do about it. Jane's father didn't look too enthusiastic about his chaperone either. I'm sorry, she wouldn't let me go alone, he said. Jane's father kept on apologizing for bringing her mother with him. He could see how uncomfortable Jane felt and how disappointed she was. He went on about the importance of family and that what you see is not always what you get. He added that sometimes in life, compromises have to be made, even if we end up doing things that are against our wishes. It was complicated and it was confusing. 
However, she knew her father was right. She had no option but to embrace the fact that her mother was now in her house. Tom easily felt the tension in the air and did everything he could to try and make the atmosphere a little more pleasant. Jane sat near her father and reminded him of her childhood days, of the time he built her a treehouse, and the time he took her trick or treating her. They both smiled and laughed, and for a moment it felt as if things were lighting up and becoming more manageable and comfortable. It was a warm reminder of the good old days when they were all a small, happy family. Tom felt it was a good opportunity to share some stories from his younger days. He went on about his school years and the travels he did in the good old days. He went on about the times when he found himself with three friends, one bowl of rice, and not a penny to his name. They learned how to go without. However, they were happy and grateful for what they had. He was backpacking around Europe, discovering new countries and discovering new people. Jane's mother interrupted his story and felt an urge to throw in a remark. She couldn't keep her thoughts to herself and said, Backpacking across Europe? Sounds like a convenient fairy tale. Tom insisted they just spilled out the truth as Jane's mother's behavior just proved that she still found it very hard to accept him. Jane and Tom knew this was not going to be easy. Jane's father grabbed Jane's hand and walked her out to the balcony. He too knew the situation wasn't easy, however, he did say over and over that no matter what happened, she was still her mother and that Jane had to find a way around this. During dinner, there was not much to say. They all sat quietly around the table with their mouths shut. Jane had had enough, so she got up and left the dining table. Tom followed her soon after. Jane's parents were left alone in a very awkward situation. A while later, Tom went back to the room to take a glass of water when Jane's father approached him. He admitted that bringing Jane's mother along and not insisting she stay at home might have been a mistake. His intentions were good. He wanted his family back together. However, things were not going that way at all. That same evening, Tom felt he had to try harder to make things work. He began telling Jane's parents about the time he, together with two partners, ran a startup. He shared how he made money and how he lost money, but didn't go into too many details. The following morning, Jane woke up, and the first thing she did was walk up to her mother and share her thoughts and feelings. She began by explaining she and Tom had a wonderful life together. She carried on and said that if she didn't accept him for everything he was, she wouldn't be able to share everything about her life with her. Jane sat patiently, waiting for her mother's response. Tom and Jane moved closer to one another. They felt this was not the right moment. Tom told the story of how they met on a cold winter's night by the local park. I was coming home from work, and something about him just... drew me in, said Jane. Jane and Tom went on about how they met and about the person Tom was when they first laid eyes on each other. Tom had a rich history of high-tech companies, of being an entrepreneur, and of having a lot of money. His past was very different from his present state. Everyone in the city they lived in knew who Tom was. He was very successful, and people in the industry admired him. When Jane first met him in the park, she knew who Tom was, but she saw beyond. It was never about his fame or success. It was something else. As Jane and Tom continued with their story, Jane's mother seemed more relaxed. She softened up and didn't seem as tense as she was before. Realizing the authenticity of how they met and how their relationship developed shone a light on their love, and she realized Tom wasn't with her daughter just for her money. There was true love here. Something you don't come across every day. Jane's mother asked herself, how could she have been so judgmental? As the story went on, she discovered more and more details that made her realize she had made a big mistake. Tom went on and continued telling Jane's parents about the wrong decisions he made, the wrong people he trusted, and how one day everything began going downhill. One day he had it all, and the next day he had nothing. In an instant, he found himself all alone, without a penny to his name. 
He suddenly had no friends, no income, nothing. Jane added and said that when she met Tom, his determination, his hope, and his pure heart were what attracted her to him. He felt lost, and she felt that she had found him. Jane was determined to get Tom back on his feet, no matter what the price was. They were now into this episode together. However, the story had another climax to it. This was not all. One day Tom smelled a weird smell in his apartment. It was of something like burning plastic. Before he knew it, his entire belongings had been set alight. Within hours, everything was gone. His photographs, personal belongings, and items with great significance that he inherited from his family were all gone, and there was no way he could replace them. Within moments, he moved from having everything to having nothing. Losing his company, losing his friends, and eventually losing all of his belongings are what drove him onto the streets. Jane's parents sat there listening to every word, not believing they were so blind to the wonderful person Tom was. Jane's mother said, Tom, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize. We were wrong. All this while, we failed to see the true strength and character in front of us. Tom felt relieved that his wife's parents now knew everything about his previous life. It didn't matter to him if they knew he had money or not. He just didn't want them to think he was with Jane for the wrong reason. For Jane, forgiving her father was easy. However, when it came to forgiving her mother, it was not as easy as she wished it would be. Jane looked at her mother, wiped her tears, and added, I need time. I need more time. You like this touching and surprising story? If so, we invite you to leave us a comment expressing your opinion. If you want to continue enjoying inspiring stories like this one, subscribe to our channel or check out the other videos shown at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for your cooperation.